The two doctors have like the exact same facial structure. I don't think they're using this, this, uh, this, they're using that stupid telescope rather than just like a microscope. And what the hell? So they drop the robot through. I have no idea what the hell is going on. This is like seeing that movie where the guy shrunk down one of the dude's body. You know the movie I'm talking no, about? No, no. When, when, they, uh, when they, they pulled out the scringe, the, it, it, it shifted everything around inside, and, and therefore the, uh, uh, you know, the robot was pulled back. Whoa! So the, the, guess the, the, the robot's in the scringe. I guess this woman has, ro has, has skin like... Uh, oh, so they didn't do anything that though. They sent that stupid robot in. That's all. Yeah. Know, the woman has... Uh, apparently she has uh, uh, skin like saran wrap. Uh? Where the, when the hell did they make this? I really hope this wasn't a, re a recent thing. No, well, it couldn't be. I'm pretty sure there were laws against stuff this bad. Oh my goodness, that's absolutely nah. incredible. Oh my goodness, that's absolutely incredible. It says here... You could never get prices this low anywhere else it except it? Kmart. Um, it says here the pack design was 2006. Oh dear Lord in heaven! Maybe they just re-released. What the hell? He's bigger than the planet. He's he's the, he's bigger than the sit on the planet. What is that thing? Wait, where the hell are we now? Is this hell? No, Wait. it's the movie. <laughs> okay, Wait, isn't the robot supposed to be small? Like in the. Okay. Well, isn't the robot supposed to be inside this woman's body? What the, what, the, what the movie's trying to do is say that within the person's body there's this whole other civilization. There's a horde, what, there's a horde of green orcs with... Yes. Yes. With stones. Where the hell do they get those stones? Um, maybe, the, maybe the green guy is supposed to represent a bacteria. Or antibody. No, no, I think they're, I think... It, uh, yeah, but come on, man, this is... They have to make it look a little more like Fantastic Voyage. And I don't think anyone's body has giant caverns in it. Hey. And what, wouldn't their probably, body... Probably, what, probably not, but it's fiction. It's suspension of disbelief. Why is the robot sweating? I don't know. Because it wants to, I guess. Oh, Lord. Technically, there'd be absolutely no reason for what the, it to. What the hell? How did that robot get in here? Is it one of the... That's the thing that attacked the Star Wars. That's the Paris Sea, but how can it be? <laughs> uh, no, there's three of them. And... I'm, I'm guessing not the villain. Wait for yes. it. Your information, I'm the defense general from the Red Star. Who are you then, robot? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's the defense general from the Red Star. You don't need to tell us a name there, general. Dude, one of those things kicked your ass. I don't think you're gonna do much better against three of them. Woman. Ooh, cool. We'll watch the Family Guy episode after this, so clear, you know, uh, clear your palate. Oh, hopefully something, something, something dark side, which we haven't seen it will be any good. Yeah, I saw it, so it was very good. How dare you, stopping him in the middle of his transformation sequence? That's only a really smart move. Changed. Yeah. Wow. She must be a quick change artist. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, but I'm not 100% sure what's going on. No, gee, now you're not sure what's going on? I've been lost since the since the woman got in injected. I'm pretty sure she's having some sort of LCD trip involving a lot of robots, and this is just what's inside her head. Oh. Mm. What is with all the flaming hunks of metal? I would have heard that's inside its own body. It would if we had any clue where the fuck she was. They were in this girl's body. 
I mean, are they in her blood veins? Are they in the liver? The kidney? Well, they, Where? Well, I, well, they injected her in the arm, so I figured she's still somewhere in the arm. Uh, I'm telling you, they're going to paralyze her right arm, and then she's not going to be able to save the world. Oh my god. They all have the exact same face design. That's the same guy who was who was doing the operation. No, it definitely is. This guy has like, a mustache. Ugh. Well, not not mustache. I meant a uh, bow tie. Yeah. So, why did you break the window? God. Yeah. This guy's that guy's outfit just sucks. And Doctor, I've decided that I want you to inject me into Ivy's body. Be quiet. We can't be concerned with our own personal consideration. The life or death of the whole world is at stake now. I think you have the same idea in mind, Gene. Sheen? It's such a good idea for you to go in there, Gene. It's brilliant. No, Gene? Oh, what the hell? Do you, you hear any of this? From the usual time-tested methods and proceed in a wave of dynamic and bold reasoning. See, you think new technology is <laughs> a crew consisting of Captain Chi. Captain Chi? Nancy and the robots Bipem and the Diatron Five. I think Diatron okay. Five is the guy who, who the red guy who wins. No, I'm pretty sure that the Bipem is the robot because you know the I'm pretty sure the Diatron Five is the crappy Megazord. So uh, Captain Chi, Nancy, Nancy. Oh, there's nothing wrong with the name Nancy, but it's so out of context here, especially when she, when her partner is a guy named Captain Chi. Look, so. So now we just assumed that we, you know, we didn't actually have to go into it. And now they're floating here in this person's body without any sort of oxygen suits or robots or anything. Yeah, definitely. This whole planet would be filled with blood and protoplasm and whatnot. And, and planets, apparently. Well, what, what they're trying to say is that there's this whole galaxy within a person's body. Um, what? He looks did, as you, did you actually catch any of that? It's not a magnetic force and you never catching up to it, but what? To the to that to the beetle ship there? What are they scared of? What? Oh what? Now they're suddenly on the ship? God, this animation is so cheap and confusing, we have no idea what the fuck is going on! They re they need to work on the transition scenes. Try to link together the scenes a little bit. Ah! Oh, she's big eyes. And her head's pulsating. Okay. Seriously, this feels like uh, the way that it's like it's like they accidentally stumbled into an episode of Star Trek Voyager. Kind of redundant, isn't it? It's absolutely vital. We have to find it. 